Defensive back Aaron Ross is a winner. He won a national title with the Longhorns and two Super Bowls with the Giants. Now he's hoping to have the same impact in Jacksonville, as the Jaguars won just five games last year. One of the reasons Aaron signed with the Jags is they're allowing him to miss some of training camp to watch his wife run in the Olympics. Sonia qualified in the 400 meters a couple days ago in Oregon. As for this season, Aaron knows running back Maurice Jones-Drew is very important to Jacksonville's success. I sat down with Aaron before his football camp last weekend to talk about MJD's contract dispute and a whole lot more. Have you had any communication with him and how confident are you that they'll get a deal done soon? No, I, I haven't had any communication with him, but um, I'm sure it, it, they'll get something done. They, he's the, the heart of the team, but um, it's a business on both sides of the ball. so. I'm pretty sure something something will happen. Did you get to go up against Blackman at all in minicamp? Yes, uh, he's a really good receiver, and um, and the quarterbacks they they're looking pretty good. So I'm excited about this year. When you see a young guy with that much talent, and obviously dealt with a little bit of an off the field issue mm -hmm. recently, do you pull aside a guy like that and talk to him at all, or do you just kind of let the coaches handle it? How do you approach being a leader, a guy who's won two Super Bowls and, and is now a veteran in this league? Well, I think on, on the first offense, you kind of let the coaches um, deal with him, the, the, the medical staff and his close friends. But um, if, if you see him still straying away a little bit and, and getting off track, that's when you come to him as a leader and, and let him know the, the right ropes to, to go along on. One, two, two, three, extra! And how do you feel like your experience with the Giants and the success that you had there, winning two Super Bowls, how do you feel like that's helped you become a different kind of leader and will probably have guys on the Jaguars coming to you for advice and, and leadership? Um, it feels great. Um, coming from the University of Texas, it's, that's, that's kind of how Coach Brown raised you is to be, to be a leader and, and everybody knows their role. And just coming from a winning organization and going to the Super Bowl twice, of course you have a, a, a little bit of seniority over everyone, but um, you basically just tell them, give them the winning spirit and, and come in with positive thoughts. Um, just, just a winning attitude, and I think that's the main thing. Sit, hit, hit. How excited are you for this year and to see what this group can accomplish moving forward with you a part of the team? I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I see the, the team, they're getting a the winning attitude. We have new coaches we brought from the Saints, um, from winning organization, Atlanta, the head coach, of course, Coach McCartney. Mm -hmm. And um, so we we getting the guys that, that really had a winning attitude, and I think that's what's going to bring us some, some good football this upcoming season. And last question, you mentioned growing up in San Antonio and not always hearing from or seeing professional athletes, guys that have quote-unquote made it. Mm -hmm. What would you tell the young men and women watching this now? Just a, a bit of advice for them moving forward. Stay positive, whatever you you put your mind to to just keep pushing. Just continue to, to, to believe in yourself, believe in, in, in your family. Of course, stay in school, because without school, you, you won't be able to fulfill your dreams. And um, just to keep a smile on your face and keep it pushing. Don't listen to the negativity. Aaron, really appreciate your time. Thanks for coming by. Uh -huh. Appreciate you making the drive. Thank you. Sitting in all that traffic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>